how are you? Fine, and you? It's a pleasure to have you here. My name is Juliana. Please tell me about your career and how did you become a chef? So my name is Ray Wyatt and I was born in England in a small town called Hastings. Hello home. Uh, I've been a chef now for 31 years, which sounds strange when I say 31 years, but that's what it is. I started when I was 15. I don't really know why I went to culinary school. None of my family are chefs, but it just ended up being the thing that I chose. And here I am still doing it. <laughs> my business is churn. So what I do is I make ice cream now. So I've uh, stared out of the kitchen as of two years ago, being the executive chef. And now my main focus is making high quality ice cream and selling it in markets, venues, weddings, anywhere I can get it in, really. Nice. And how did you find out about PacoJet? So uh, being a chef, I mean, I've known about PacoJet a long time. And then two of my friends, one in England, one in Denmark, both use it in their restaurants. They're both quite high end restaurants. And they told me about it in the application of just doing it for ice cream. And I was considering it anyway. And then once I saw my friend Dave, what he was doing with it, I got really excited about the fact that I can create a high end product in a very small machine. Once you got your Paco Jet, did you find it easy to use? What was your first recipe? Yes, I mean, they are really easy to use. I've got the Paco Jet 2 and never using one before. I mean, it's very simplistic. I only use mine for ice cream, where I know there are a lot of applications you can use it for, for savory, for soups, for sauces, all that stuff. But my main focus was ice cream. So my first recipe was just vanilla. So the idea is if you can't make a good vanilla, you've got no legs to stand on. So I tried many recipes and trying to focus on the, the premium custard base, which I'm using still to this day after a year. So my main first recipe was just plain vanilla. Comparing the Paco Jet to other ice cream makers, what makes the Paco Jet better? I think, um, well, for me, portability, because I bring my machine to events. I have three Paco Jets now and I can easily fit those in my van. And I can bring those to weddings, I can bring those to businesses, and I can actually make the ice cream in front of the clients. Whereas if I had a tailor or a Carpigiani that weighs you know, two or three hundred pounds, it's impossible. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons I looked into the package originally. And then also, when I'm doing flavors for weddings and events, they want to customize their own flavor. So I can actually do that, seeing as my beakers and the package jet beakers only hold about two pints of ice cream once it's actually been packetized so by having i've got 81 beakers if i've got four flavors and that's 20 beakers i can easily customize per client how was your experience with our services center how fast was the service uh, it actually was very fast and i was quite surprised um, my very first machine was a used one that i purchased online and it was a bit of a risk taking uh, effort, but I got it. And the very first packetize I did, um, it didn't work. So I thought it was user error and it actually wasn't. So I sent it up to the center in New York and Scott was very nice and he fixed it straight away and got it back within a week. And I've got three machines now and all three machines have been up with Scott and he's even walked me through on Zoom how to fix something myself instead of sending it all the way to New York. So they've been fantastic, really good. Amazing. And do you believe that PacoJet can be used by home chefs as well as professional chefs? Absolutely believe home chefs can do it. It's a very simple machine to use. And like I said before, storing the machine, because you won't be using it on a daily basis as a home cook or a home chef, you can easily put it away like you would a food processor or a blender and then bring it out when you need it, which you cannot really do with the big commercial machines. If you use the small machines like a cuisine art, or the uh, small gelato machines, you can make ice cream at home, but your product will not be as good as using a Paco Jet. So it is definitely a better option for the home cook as well as the professional chef. Amazing. And what would you say to someone who doesn't have a Paco Jet yet? I would say consider your application. I mean, if you're a professional chef, you're obviously considering a Paco Jet for a specific reason. And it might not always just be ice cream. So Look at Paco Jet's application on the phone. It's fantastic. Look at some of the recipes. Try and find someone with a Paco Jet that you can go and talk to and see the machine in action. And then once you feel as though you're committed, then look into what type of Paco Jet you need. Is it the Paco Jet 2, Paco Jet 2 Plus, or even better, you know, a different version? And then consider the beakers. 
I didn't have enough beakers. I only started with 12 and now I've got 81. So depending on how much product you're going to be making and how many flavors you're going to be making, you have to consider how many beakers you need to buy in the beginning as well. Exactly. What is your favorite recipe made with PacoJet? That's tough. I mean, my flavors change on a weekly basis. I carry, at to this day, I've made over 200 flavors of ice cream in less than a year. And choosing one favorite would be difficult. I shared a recipe with malted milk ice cream, which is really delicious. Um, but one of my other favorites is a lemon cheesecake ice cream. And the reason I like it on the Paco Jet is because by adding cream cheese to my regular vanilla base, and that's all you need to do is put cream cheese at the bottom, your vanilla base on top, and then lots of lemon and lemon zest. Once it's packetized, you get that rich cheesecake creamy mouthfeel. Top that with some butter fried graham crackers and you've got cheesecake ice cream in a cup and it's absolutely delicious. That's why I love PacoJet. You can customize each beaker so easily. Awesome. You do sugar-free ice cream. How is it? Is it vegan? Um, we don't do sugar-free ice cream. We do vegan. We do a lot of vegan. We do sugar-free popsicles. I did mess around with sugar-free ice cream and it is possible um, primarily using either honey, agave, maple syrup or stevia. Mm -hmm. um, the problem with the three previous, like honey, maple, and agave, is you're adding a liquid product to a liquid. So to get the sweetness out of your ice cream, you have to have a lot of honey, agave, or maple, which means a lot of money, first of all, and then you're adding more liquid, so you have to adjust your egg content. Whereas the vegan recipe that I use is all coconut milk-based. So coconut milk is very simple to use, and you can actually do sugar-free ice cream using any base, you just have to substitute and figure out your balance of eggs to, uh, eggs to cream or eggs to milk or eggs to coconut milk. So it is possible. Yes, yeah, so we have quite a lot of vegan flavors and a lot of vegan followers as well. Amazing. I love it, your packaging. It's amazing, it's simple and it's nice. The energy of your business is amazing. Exactly. <laughs> and the yeah. Instagram is perfect too, I love it. Yeah, our packaging all compostable. So we try and use uh, compostable packaging, non-plastic coated stickers. And then we also use wooden spoons when we're at the market for people to eat the ice cream with. So we try and keep it as eco as possible. Amazing, amazing. I really like Thank to you. hear it. Uh, is there anything else you would like to mention? I think that, like I mentioned before, um, from a chef standpoint, the most beautiful thing in a restaurant is saying something like you can tell the customer or you can even show the customer if you've got an open kitchen that you're producing the ice cream in front of them to order and they're not going to get a product like you would buy if you bought it scooped you're getting very little air you're getting a very creamy rich product and then the chefs themselves can have 20 25 30 beakers in the freezer and have so many options because you can churn it or we call it churning you can packetize it one portion at a time which is literally one quenelle on a spoon so depending on how many customers you got you switch the beaker out you can have three flavors in in five minutes for three different customers it's absolutely versatile in that respect amazing well thank you again for sharing your story and your time with me thank you, you know, so much thanks juliana you have a very nice day